Hello guys, Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to Smart Programmer. I hope you all are fine. So today I am back with a new video and in this video I am going to solve a minor issue. People usually ask that how to find the two different widgets in the TK Intro module by using the Python language. So today I am going to solve that issue. So without wasting any time, let's jump into the video. So binding means that when you are performing an operation on one widget, so it will also perform an operation on the binded widget automatically. Okay guys, in this video I am assuming that you know how to create a combo box and how to add label and how to add entry field because combining the two widgets is a next level. So I am done with the basic coding and this is the basic coding, a few lines of code and let me show you the final GUI of this. This is a simple GUI, a simple combo box and a label CGPA and this entry field. That's it. So if you don't know that how to add a combo box in the TK into module or how to add a label or a entry field. So don't worry, I have already created a, a playlist on TK Inter and let me show you. This is the playlist. A TK Inter complete course for the beginners. You can find that play playlist on my YouTube channel. And this is the video that how to create a combo box. So please check this playlist. I will give the link in the description section. Go and subscribe to my channel and enjoy this amazing content for free. So let's jump back to the IDE. Okay guys, so the purpose of the video is that to bind this combo box with the three different widgets one by one. So first I will cover the entry field, then I will cover the label and then I will cover the text area. Okay guys, so what I want is that whenever I select any grade from this combo box, let's say B. So the respective GPA of this uh, grade should be inserted into this entry field automatically without inserting it explicitly. So this is the purpose of the video. So let's close this and jump into the code. So first of all, what I'm going to do is that I'm just removing this and I'm using the bind function, the bind method, which is my combo dot bind. And here I'm using this and use here the greater than and less than sign and try type here combo box selected and here I am writing a name of the function which I am going to create now so what the bind method do a bind method associate an event to a callback function so that when the event occur the function is called automatically so this is the function which will be called when uh, the event will occur let's create this function def selected so now I'm using the if else condition which is if my combo box dot get method is equal equal to this a plus grade then entry dot insert it should insert from end to so what I want is that this CGPA so for a plus the cgpa which i want is five so what i am going to do i'm using here the indexing which is c gpa and zero i hope this is clear to you because the five cgpa is on the zeroth index that's why i put zero over here so now i am going to copy this so now i am using the elif condition and paste it over here Okay guys, this is the total code and what I did is that if my combo dot get is a plus, which means that let me show you over here. Whenever I select this a plus, so the CGPA according to this a plus grade is 5. So it should be, you know, inserted in this entry field. 
so this is what i coded over here okay guys now let's run it and check whether it's working or not so let's select any grade which is like b so nothing happened and actually i forgot to give here the parameter which is event and now let's check it again and select any grade so you can see here what i suggested for the b grade is 3c gpa so it is coming here successfully but now when i am selecting the a plus so it is giving the 5c gpa but it is not looking good because the 3 is already present here and now 5 is inserted so it will look like 35 it's not looking the two different c gpas it's so what i wanted to do is that i first delete the already inserted data from the entry field and then the new data should be inserted for that entry dot delete from end sorry from zeroth index till end so sorry everything should be deleted so let's copy it and paste it over here so here we go let's run it again okay guys now let's run it and check whether it's working or not so select any grade like d so the cgpa is one and now reselect any other one which is b so you can see here the already inserted cgpa is deleted automatically and now three is inserted over here which is the cgpa of b so this is how we can bind the two different widgets so if you want to bind a label uh, with the combo box so the code is same just uh, you have to first create a label like lbl1 uh, and then label root comma text and now i have to give the text here which is cgpa index zero right and now i have to place that text which is lbl1 dot place x is equals to 100 and y is equals to 60. so now let's run it and when i select the a plus grade so you can see here a label is appearing over here i hope it is clear to you and the 5 is appearing over here not in the entry field because we have bind the label with this combo box not the entry field for this particular grade so this is how you can uh, bind a label with the combo box and you can also bind a text area or a text widget with this combo box you just have to create a text area and then you have to you know replace the entry with the text area the name of the text area so this is how you can bind the two different widgets uh, with each other so binding means that when you are performing an operation on one widget so it will also perform an operation on the binded widget automatically so this is what we covered in this video i hope you learned something and if you like it so please share it so please subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends and support my channel so bye for now take care and allah hafiz